same things uh, would be good and that yeah, that's uh, um, creating uh, new ideas that we only have here and we can also share material like the like the flyer that um, um, that Edgar just uh, had this morning or we share information about actions and, and uh, anything about Cuba with our followers on the Facebook pages um, so then we get more coverage in the media and then we get more maybe to, what, uh, more maybe to, uh, to the younger people um, also coordinate action days like the day against the blockade, invite uh, each other to our fiestas and, and festivals uh, discuss current developments and ideas for further, for further work um, and coordinate um, the, the new media campaigns. That would be, would be something that we would love to do together with all of you. So, um, as uh, Gaspar said, um, we will share the link um, with you after the conference. You can check if you, if you find it uh, already today. Otherwise, we will send a link to Igor and he will send it with the final email after the, the conference. And if you have any questions, uh, we are here until uh, tomorrow uh, for lunch. So, thank you. Hello again. Okay, this is also an issue in Turkey. Um, Turkish mainstream media is under the influence of the imperialist mass media. Therefore, whenever a speculation on, for example, the essence of the changes taking place in Cuba starts in the international area, uh, it immediately reflected in our media too. The speculation that Cuba is giving up the path of socialist development is met with enthusiasm among dominant circles and their media in Turkey. And there are also at times some local attempts to attack Cuba or something relating to Cuba, not necessarily organized or planned, most of the time as a result of personal hysteria. Like the one happened a few years ago when the president of the Turkish parliament defined Che as a murderer and terrorist who could not be taken as an example by the Turkish youth. This, of course, reflects a disturbance because of the popularity of Che among uh, young people in Turkey, but still it's a big assault, especially when the position of this person in the Turkish state is considered. More often we encounter such attacks from the ranks of the bourgeois journalists. Some of them go to Cuba in order to collect evidence for their prejudices and hatred, and when they turn back, they and publish their biased experience to the public in the most decorated manner. Therefore, uh, we have to be very vigilant against both the reflections of the international subversions and misinformations in the country and attacks of the local enemies of Cuba. We closely follow whatever is said about Cuba in the country. We are very sensitive about confronting any media manipulation suggesting that the Cuban socialism is giving up or any misinformation or insult about the values of Cuba. We are the only institution that the Turkish public opinion, of course, besides the Cuban embassy, considers as a true channel to learn the truth on Cuba. Our social media accounts, especially Facebook, is very important in our efforts to counteract, counteract against the attacks towards Cuba. Uh, with a number of followers, more than 30,000, might look like a small number in such a huge country, but still it's a good website um, in its own category, sorry, web page in its own category. So this Facebook page is useful in disseminating information in the fastest way possible. We also collaborate with progressive news agencies in Turkey, before all Soul Portal, whose number of followers has reached around a million. And uh, we have an active website uh, also uh, for our declarations or news on Cuba. But in the end, all the information most widely and fastly disseminated through the channels of social media. So we have recently established a social media commission in the association which studies the effective ways to use social media to create interesting content and to meet with, uh, with people via social media and so on. Thank you. Thank you from Portugal and talk 
about uh, the work of the association. We participated actively in international events such as People Summit and the Young World Festival and the meetings, conference and events at the European <laughs> Parliament that concern solidarity with human evolution. Which year we take part of the International Brigade in the party and in the festival event, the biggest political and cultural event in our country. Besides organizations organizing political, political public meetings about Cuba and cultural activities about Cuban culture, we commemorate historic dates related to, to the Cuban Revolution. The AABC is making a strong effort to develop its political and information work by the means of monthly week, uh, newsletter and social media, internet and Facebook. At the international level, we are willing to participate in with other organizations to join actions that are meaningful and relevant to the struggle of peace against the militarism, aggressive skeletons, and for the end of criminal blockade against Cuba and other sovereign states victims of U.S. imperialism aggressions. The next week. We will participate at the second conference end of blockage against Cuba at the European Parliament promoted by the United Left, Green Nordic Left. The AAPC appeals to the strength of cooperation relations between European organizations and of solidarity with Cuba to the further the discussion of future joint actions in favor of the end of blockage at, and the restitution of the Latino people of Cuba. Федерации, 
Наши коллеги распространяют правдивую информацию о республике. Они проводят вечера по Фиделя, Эрнеста Че Гевара, других революционеров. Памят, посвященные памятным датам. Кроме того, уважаемые коллеги, вот сегодня мой коллега Михаил Макарук говорил о том, что воины-интернационалисты, которые живут на территории России, которые в 1960 году защищали республику Куба от иностранного вторжения. Они проводят очень большую работу, включая информационную. Только они издали, написали и издали 10 книг о об истории Карибского кризиса. И о своем личном участии. Что касается правления нашего общества, то мы тоже издаем книги. Вот сегодня мой коллега Михаил Макарук вручил представителю ИКАП фотоальбом а, о Че Геваре. Я хочу рассказать немножечко об, этой, об этом фотоальбоме. В этот фотоальбом вошли фотографии о Че Геваре когда он посещал Советский Союз. Информационные материалы я готовил как автор. В том числе из э, книги, которая называется «Куба, любовь моя», которую мы выпустили в 2014 году к 50-летию нашей организации. И в этой книге опубликованы приветствия президента Российской Федерации Владимира Владимировича Путина и э, Рауля Кастро, председателя Государственного Совета и Совета Министров. Кроме того, я как ваш покорный слуга написал и выпустил книгу Куба, остров свободы, остров любви. В этой книге рассказывается о работе. О работе специалистов, которые помогали строить кубинским друзьям промышленных предприятий и других отраслях. Конкретное предложение по информационному освещению истории Кубы. Вот здесь выступали наши коллеги, которые представляют основные общественные организации в своих странах. И которые находятся в ваших столицах, в ваших государствах. Я предлагаю, уважаемые друзья, создавайте филиалы ваших 
regiones ваших стран. И чтобы они проводили работу. Я хотел бы сегодня вот от имени своих коллег вручить, во-первых, поблагодарить организаторов данной замечательной встречи и нашего главного руководителя Игоря Юрышича. Можете вы подойти Великого Игоря. И вручить его на память эту книгу об Эрнесто Чегеваре. Спасибо.
То есть мы там можем послушать не только кубинскую, но и всю латинскую музыку. И ай там есть не только музыка кубана, но и музыка латина. И там мы часто проводим встречи как раз таки с кубинцами, которые живут у нас. И тот, кто любит Кубу. К сожалению, к нам сейчас перестали приходить газеты. Я бы так и не ответил, и право, ты готова. Я думаю, что э, нужно это тоже продолжить. Но, э, у нас есть люди, которые э, не пользуются интернетом, к сожалению. Вот много людей старого возраста. А, и в заключение хочу сказать, значит, опять слова благодарности организаторам. Капу и всем кубинским друзьям. И э, должны мы сказать здесь, что мы всегда солидарны с Кубой, мы поддерживаем. Вива Куба! Creo que ya hemos debatido este punto, la comisión tiene que sesionar ahora para escribir las ideas y entonces le damos la propuesta al compañero de, de Medicuba, por favor. Uh, what we have done in uh, more than 25 years since we created in 92 in Switzerland first this was during the period of special and uh, we thought that uh, it was important to help the health system in Cuba to survive the crisis when our activities expanded uh, then we realized that Switzerland was not big enough And uh, in 1997, we created um, Cuba Europe. We are now um, association members in uh, 14 uh, European uh, countries. We are an association, we meet every year with uh, an assembly, and we have a board of directors, a Punta Directiva, uh, in which, uh, besides myself, we are representative, we have Martin from uh, Sweden, Uh, Marta from Luxembourg who just uh, went out and then two other representatives who are not here today one from Italy and one from uh, Germany. What is important to realize is that we have an, an officina, we have a, 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 an office in, in Havana, we have a full-time coordinator there um, and uh, a few advisors uh, part-time, so that this is very essential to be able to carry out what uh, we are doing. We, are all, we have also a part-time uh, uh, coordinator in Europe, uh, Manuela Catania, who is there. Manuela, who is uh, She's our coordinator here in Europe, but the main work is done in Havana itself by uh, Manuel Banega, who is our coordinator there. In this uh, almost 26 years, we have provided help, and I will summarize what we have done briefly uh, for about 12 million euros to the Cuban health system. And um, we have three lines of uh, projects. One are uh, punctual uh, projects. If in a hospital there is a lack of uh, an equipment, a gastroscope, a colonoscope, if a machine is no longer uh, functioning, if like it has been uh, two months ago there is a fire uh, in one hospital with a lot of damages, uh, then we try to solve this punctual problem. So, and uh, we have every year dozen of such problems and we try uh, very unbureaucratically, directly, Uh, con be connected directly with the hospital, with the cancer center, with uh, the physician uh, who needs that uh, to solve it. 
the second line of uh, activities is training. We have trained um, dozens and dozens of um, professionals, uh, nurses, uh, physicians, uh, researchers, lab technicians uh, in different parts of, of Europe, depending on, 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 uh, depending on, on what they need as a training, depending also on the uh, language skill. Uh, if the professional speaks only Spanish, then it, we will do that in, in, in Spain. Uh, if you speak also some English, uh, it can be done uh, elsewhere. Um, so this is a continuous uh, activity that we have been performing. At the beginning it was more general nurses, technicians, physicians. Now we uh, try to help the development of the Cuban, you know that Cuba has a huge uh, research enterprise in biomedicine. And um, they have, after uh, Western Europe, US and perhaps Japan, the best biomedical research uh, worldwide, but sometimes they need some training for uh, a specific methodology that uh, they do not yet know. And so we send them either to London or to Paris or to Zurich or to Lausanne uh, to have this specific uh, training. And uh, this is, of course, done, this part also in conjunction with different uh, human uh, ministries. And the third, which is uh, related to the MINSA, to the uh, Ministry of Health, uh, is a series of long-term programs that started in the 90s with the so-called uh, raw material uh, program. We provided to the pharmaceutical industry in Cuba a raw material chemical raw material that they were not able to buy so that they could produce essential uh, medicines. Uh, we have now three or four of these long-standing programs. One is with the uh, Cancer Institute, with the INOR, Institute National de Oncologia y Biologia. Another one is with the CIM, the Centro de Immunologia Molecular, a very important research center which is producing vaccines against cancer, but also uh, other drugs um, against cancer, but also against neurodegenerative uh, diseases. Uh, we have a um, long-standing program uh, in um, psychiatry and in uh, nephrology. Um, and uh, now uh, we have started um, based on the wish of the MINSA and uh, also on, on, of the government, um, a very important long-standing project, which is the equipment of the uh, Institute uh, Pedro Curie and of the, um, of the uh, other labs in uh, Cuba, which depend on the Institute Pedro Curie with uh, the necessary technology to make uh, um, molecular biologically based uh, diagnosis of all kinds of infections, from Ebola to dengue, from uh, herpes to papilloma virus. Uh, you know, uh, Pedro Curie, as I stated this morning, is very important to check and to control the infectious situation in, in Cuba, but it's also very important for preparing all the Cuban physicians who are going abroad, but also to help, for instance, in Haiti or in other countries to fight uh, AIDS, to fight Ebola. And uh, in order to be able to make rapid diagnosis of, of all kinds of diseases, which they were not able to do, they were using methods which are now not up to date because they couldn't buy the necessary technology. Um, um, and these methods uh, last uh, at least 10 days or, or 14 days. Now, if you can do that on a molecular biological basis, you can do that in hours. And you do not need to, to translate specimens of, of urine or of putum or of, of uh, blood from Santiago till uh, Havana. So we decided to have three 
laboratories, one in Santiago, one in, in Villa Clara, one in, in Havana, and developing a, on top of that the possibility of uh, the central ECAP uh, Institute to, to check on that, uh, providing them this technology and the necessary training. So we have already established the first lab in Villa Clara. This has been uh, inaugurated by the Vice President, uh, Dr. Morales Orieta, uh, a few weeks ago, who was previously the Minister of Health. This has been an investment of 300,000 euro. We are starting now the same in Santiago, that will cost us about 400,000 euros, and then we will go to Havana. So the old project uh, will cost about 1.5 million euros. And um, we have some of these resources, but not yet uh, uh, everything or not yet sufficient to, to conclude the program. This is a four-year program. We have started one year ago, or a bit more than one year ago. And uh, so this is the reason why we are now um, going around in Europe to get uh, support. We have got quite a lot of support from Germany, from Luxembourg. Uh, from, um, of course, from um, in Switzerland, from Medicuba, Switzerland, from the Swiss Association, Mistat uh, called Cuba, has helped us. Another foundation in Switzerland has given us uh, $100,000. And um, so, uh, this is just to, to say that we need uh, the solidarity of, of everyone who can help us to. Uh, carry out this program, which has been declared as priority, a uh, very high priority by the Cuban uh, government. But on top of that, I just repeat what I've been saying this morning. I know that in many parts of Europe, people uh, think, well, we can help uh, the health care of the children in Cuba by collecting drugs. Please try to coordinate that uh, with us. We have, for instance, I have forgotten to say that, and this is financed by our Italian um, member of the group uh, since uh, five or six years, uh, an activity providing some of the very important anti-cancer drugs for children, which cannot be bought because they are produced only in the US, and so uh, Cuba, Cuba cannot uh, buy them. So, in that field, is. It's important not just to send some drugs which might not be necessary and might even create just problems, but to coordinate uh, the uh, activities and uh, our people in our office in, in Switzerland and in, in Cuba are there to do just contact us and then we will try to uh, be as efficacious as possible in uh, helping the Cuban revolution. Thank you very much. Muchísimas gracias al compañero de Medicuba Europa. Entonces ahora, miren, lo que está previsto es que eh, las comisiones, los redactores de las comisiones trabajen, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer un pequeño receso para que se laven la cara, tomen cafecito y también los compañeros que van a...